I get to give all of you the tour, which I'm so excited to be able to do. First, we get to start with the outside of our space, which so much thought went into, starting from our garden. Everything has been built and chosen and worked on by our incredible community of volunteers and community members. You'll notice that we have this incredible film on the windows. If you recall, we asked people, we asked our community to say in a word what JFS means to them. And so you may recognize your words on this film where these words encapsulate what we're doing and, and what this space means to all of you. So come on inside. So the name of this space, the kitchen, the kitchen means so much more than just food. It's at any good party where everybody comes together. It's a place of warmth, a place of creativity, and a place of fun. So our space, the kitchen, means all of those things rolled into one. As I mentioned, this space has been such a labor of love from so many community members, from the idea phase to the research, to the planning, to the execution. So many people have come together to help make this happen and we are so proud to honor them over in this space. The kitchen is the result of an effort to integrate multiple services. From food security to housing to advocacy to case management, our clients can come to this space and receive their groceries as well as meet with their case managers um, to work on accessing government benefits or um, accessing equipment through the Red Cross. It's also going to be a place of community and learning, which brings us to our incredible library built by our amazing volunteer Michael who built pretty much everything you're going to see in this space with wonderful books generously donated by Rabbi Roki. This space is going to be used for reading clubs and story time and over here I take you to our food security office where the team will be hard at work and one day I am foresee that this wall is going to be covered in photos of our volunteers and programs and can't wait to build those memories with you in this new space. And now come check out the kitchen and our program space. So our prepared meal program currently serves seniors and folks recovering from surgery who don't have the ability to cook for themselves. This kitchen is where those meals will be lovingly prepared for our clients. In addition to, we'll be able to bake challah in this kitchen, have community dinners once it's safe to have them again. Um, and then over here is where everyone will gather to get to eat together. Um, prior to COVID, we had our seniors lunch and we fully intend to bring that back into uh, reality when, when it's safe to do so. People are really struggling with the isolation of the COVID-19 pandemic and this space is going to be such a warm, inviting community space to get to combat some of the isolation that everyone's been feeling in this past year. Over here, we've got our very exciting kids zone. We cannot wait to see all of our community kids playing in this space from reading books to chopping up the wooden vegetables, which I personally find incredibly exciting. Uh, and we are just so, so excited to be able to welcome you all here. This space is gonna be for both nutritional programs, for baking classes for kids and adults, but even we could hold a choir here. I've already got plans with one of our clients to start a choir as soon as we can. Um, the sky is really the limit with what we're gonna be able to do in this space. Our programs are gonna be led by our clients and what they wanna see from this space because this space is so community built and community driven and we can't wait to see what they come up with and build it with them. So finally, last but not least, this is our warehouse. This is where all of our food bank programming is gonna be happening. We'll be packing orders for our clients. Our volunteers will be busy at work um, helping to provide food to the community. Having this space means that we can have these giant fridges and build relationships with local farms and fill these fridges with fresh local produce that will be provided to us from so many local farms and we're so excited to do that. In the coming weeks, these shelves are gonna go as high as the ceiling and be full of cereal for our kids' breakfast club and all the other supplies that we need to, to make this space a fully functioning um, space to integrate all the food support with the programs that we'll be able to provide. 
And that's about it. Thank you so much for joining us today, for spending your Sunday with us. We cannot wait to have you here in person in the coming weeks. And thank you to all of you who have helped to make this happen. We're so excited. Mm -hmm.